Right here I have some uh, stock spruce and uh, this is cut to length and right now I'm gonna cut them to the size and width and also the housing and dado for the hardwood rails which will fit inside and these are the three sections of the rail assembly. So let's jump into the 3D design. Uh, here you can see the long table and next up is how the table looks when it's uh, not extended but shortened. And here you can see it's quite, uh, quite compact. And with the cross section uh, you can tell how the edges are built up and how the perimeter is thick and then the inside edges are thin for the design and also the staggered um, ledge so the bit middle panel can uh, sit on the, the outer frame and with the cross section off you can see how it looks on the outside and how uh, it suits under the table Let's get back to the building part. So the sidewalls are milled in uh, the stock and also the oak middle section is uh, also uh, cut to width with the table saw and now I can uh, hog out the middle section here uh, with a wide table saw blade and, and then I can check if it fits and glue them together, glue the oak in the spruce. So that's cool. Pre-fit uh, this set with uh, the oak in it, and I'm gonna check this one, and then uh, it is ready for glue. And then afterwards, uh, some more assembly.
Right now, the rails is extended and I'm gonna retract it to the travel I like, so the distance of the middle section. I'm gonna make a mark then, and then I'm gonna extend and check again if the distances are all right. And then I know uh, the limit of the travel because I can attach another uh, in between section. And in that way, uh, the travel is limited and also I can mount it in an open or even a closed position. Uh, and that's uh, quite handy. So this is a bit uh, difficult to, to see and understand only from talking. Um, but the thing is, the, the travel needs to be limited and then I can mount it and so I can show you now. The table is behind me here and the rails is slightly long for uh, the closed position and that's why I'm cutting off this uh, front section because this is uh, a piece apart which is not needed for the travel and I can cut it off at the stop and then I can screw on a little top plate or a little plate on this side and then I'll check if the position and the rails are okay with the legs and then uh, this is ready for fitting. is now a smaller size and suitable between the legs of the table and uh, I'm gonna place the interface plates uh, on which this get mounted the rails and the legs and this is screwed on uh, not glued could be the glued as well but uh, uh, for accessibility later on or something else uh, I'm gonna screw it and uh, you can see the rails is quite a bit shorter uh, with the excess length cut off and now the full length is the maximum uh, stroke or travel so uh, now it's at its compact in design so that's uh, quite nice <laughs> 